I'm gonna start this off just by warning you that this is not gonna be charming. I'm not gonna have the cool like pause edits on weird faces. It's not gonna happen right now because it's like three o'clock on Thursday and I have no time to edit this. And if I'm talking quietly, it's because my sweet mate is asleep in the next room and I don't wanna wake her up because that would be really awkward. Um, so I'm just gonna jump right in. Um, PSE doesn't know. Well, I guess some people with PSE know, but not that many people know uh, whatever. <laughs> PAC doesn't know that I speak Spanish, but, um, well, I guess they do know, but they don't know exactly how long I've spoken Spanish. I've been learning Spanish since I was in the fourth grade, and, um, which I mean really doesn't, I don't know if that counts, because in fourth grade you learn, like, colors and how to say your name, and even that you fail at, but I've been in classes ever since then. I took it all through middle school and high school. In high school, I was in the highest Spanish, like, level of Spanish class that was offered in any high school, I think in the state of Kansas, which is Spanish 6, which meant I went from 7th grade to senior year, and in that class, we literally, we never spoke English whatsoever, and um, I actually kind of dominated it. Like, I got an A on it without even trying. Like, I didn't even have to take my final. Um, I'm, I'm really good at Spanish, or I was. It's been a year little over a year since I've been in a Spanish class, and the last Spanish class I was in, she didn't speak Spanish in, like, at all, so uh, I'm kind of failing now, but it's whatever, we'll figure it out. Um, PSA doesn't know that I'm mildly obsessed with Audrey Hepburn. Um, you can't really tell, because I'm not at my house, but, like, there's one Audrey Hepburn poster, and I have a pastel drawing that somebody did in New York of her from Breakfast at Tiffany's, and I have two pictures, like, kind of like headshots, sort of, of her, and, um, I have a good amount of her movies, Breakfast at Tiffany's, I've seen more times than I can possibly tell you. I, I'm mildly obsessed, which is really cliche for, you know, a girl my age, but I don't know. I just really like her. She's got just, she's got such a style. She's got spunk. Not really. Uh, um, PSC doesn't know that I'm really weird, this is totally dumb, but I'm really weird about how, like, I organize things. Like, I would show you my desk right now, but it's disgusting. But, like, I have, we have a whole bookshelf that's probably, like, it's probably, like, three feet wide, give or take, and I have filled the entire top shelf with just books, and... It literally took me like three days to get them in order of how I wanted them to be like and it's not even like shortest to tallest or like color order or anything it's like both like it, it peaks in the middle and it's the tallest in the middle and then it like f like it's like it's basically like a point but not like a perfect one like it's all bumpy and weird and, like some of them get taller and some of them are weird and then I have journals in there like sporadically like I can't have journals next to each other and I can't have books by the same author author next to each other I'm really weird and then that's not even all my books then I have a stack of books where the binding, like, the actual, like, binder is a dark color, and that's on the top of my bookshelf, like, my bookshelf and my desk. And then I have one on top of another shelf that's all light-colored books, and I'm pretty sure they're all white, actually, white or light green. And, like, I'm, I'm so weird about stuff like that. Like, some girl came in once, was a friend of my roommate's, and was looking at my books, and she moved them, and I almost had a panic attack, like, I was so pissed. Like, that's one thing you don't do. And I'm like, that was office supplies. That's something PSC doesn't know. I love shopping for office supplies. It's embarrassing. Like, it's ridiculous. I'm talking, like, I get super ridiculously excited when the beginning of school starts, because it means I get to go office supply shopping. And, like, I... <laughs> Everybody makes fun of me. I probably have 30 pencils, I have, like, 10 Sharpies, 6 or 7 highlighters, and probably 75 pens and I have them organized very specifically and then I have like these cool colored like paper clips and those binder clips I don't know what they're called they're like the weird ones and then like thumbtacks like I'm really I'm really weird about it I'm sorry um PC doesn't know that I'm really weird about keeping things like on um my calendar look at my calendar can you see it yeah all those things around the outside are baseball tickets, 
uh, football tickets, basketball tickets, play tickets, concert tickets, and a hockey ticket. Like, I, I keep tickets from everything. And I don't, like, my parents call me, like, a, like a ticket binder, where, like, you put it in there and you put a description of, like, what it was. Your favorite part. <laughs> Shit like that. But I don't like stuff like that. Like, I, I always just keep them like that. Or on those, um, or on just, like, bulletin boards. Like, that's just how I am. That's how I roll. Um... PC doesn't know that I've put probably 6,000 miles on my car, and I've had it for two and a half years, and all I do is drive to school. That's all I've ever really done, except the reason I put so much on it is because I just get pissed and I drive for like six hours. It's not very, it's not very economical of me. Whatever, I'm a rebel. Um, PSC does not know that these are not my curtains. I don't want you to think that. Not mine. These are my roommates. Um. <laughs> God. This is gonna be the grossest video I've ever made of myself in my entire life. Um. Okay. I was talking about this when we were in a stick camp chat. And Elias was in there. Because he has this poster too. And, oh god, this <laughs> is terrible. That middle poster, one of the guys in the middle, either the guy, okay, whatever, one of the guys that's wearing overalls is my great-grandfather, yeah, and I don't know his name, his name is, everybody called him Dito, whatever, he's in that, and he helped build the Empire State Building, and every time I see that, like, I feel, like, slightly cool and slightly famous, because I'm like, what's up? I know him. But like nobody, nobody's gonna be like, oh, that's a uh, that's that's Dito, <laughs> and yeah, we're related. Like there's no names, nobody knows who those people are. But yeah, it's my great grandfather, which is pretty legit if you ask me. Um, this is seven minutes, and that's way longer than I intended it to be because I ramble like a motherfucker. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. This is terrible. Please don't hate me for how horrendous this is. Uh, I look disgusting now. I'd like to add that too, by the way. Um, I have a lot of keys. I used to have a rape whistle. My friend stole it. Freaking jerk. But yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go. This is terrible. I hate myself. Um, yeah, you have fun with life, folks. I'm gonna go put my face in a blender because this was terrible. <laughs>